Well, it's springtime, and that means ticks are starting a two-month feeding frenzy. As Mel Meyer reports, the tiny insects can pose a big health risk for anyone and anything venturing out to enjoy the warm weather. There are 13 known tick species in Minnesota, from the deer tick, which is smaller than a grain of sand, to a wood tick, which can be the size of an ant. They like areas that are grassy and uh, with leaf litter. They can latch on without you even noticing. To prevent yourself from being their next meal, there are a few precautions you can take. There's other products like DEET or, you know, insect repellent that uh, will help keep them off you. But even those who are extra cautious still need to check to see if they've latched on. And while you're checking out yourself for ticks, it's also important to be checking out your pets for them too. Pet them every day and check Check every area. Check behind the ears, check base of the tail, check their bellies. Just like with humans, if ticks aren't pulled off your pet relatively quickly, ticks can transmit illnesses like Lyme disease. It affects their joints, so if they're kind of lethargic and not acting themselves, definitely bring them in. People can feel the same way with flu-like symptoms or a bullseye rash. Since we are in a tick hotspot, a lot of times the providers will treat prophylactically. A, a quick dose of antibiotics just to make sure you're safe. So if you see a tick crawling on yourself or someone else this summer, remember to pull it off quickly and cleanly. Pull it straight up in one movement. You don't want to twist it or jerk it. You just grab the tick right by the head and pull it out with continual pressure or force. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. And they say the risk of a tick biting you decreases after they finish feeding in mid-July. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.